Hello there, and welcome to Pretty Ninja. Um, yes, I'm sad enough to have my own t-shirt. But um, in this video, we're going to be going over the old age question of can you build a PC for £500? Now, this question has been around ever since I started PC gaming back when I was 16 years old, so a good 10 years ago now. Um, back then it was probably a lot easier because components were probably a little bit cheaper uh, Whereas nowadays especially with the Bitcoin mining It's actually really difficult to get a decent graphics card to even fit within your budget in the first place So my friends have asked me this question because I do have a few that want to get into PC gaming So just for you guys and obviously everyone else that are watching um, Here are the pieces of equipment that I would put in my 500 pound PC rig links are going to be in the description below by the way So if you want to buy any of these parts in this video, um, you can click on the links below I'm not affiliated, so I'm not going to make any money out of it. So I'm also going to put a donation link in there to um, if, if you wish to donate towards what I found. So let's start off with the CPU now I have to admit straight from the off that the CPU isn't the best okay but it will be powerful enough to go with your graphics card which I'll get onto a little bit later the CPU I have chosen is the i3-6100 that's the dual core processor which has four threads for you tech geeks out there um, it has a processor base frequency of around about 3.7 gigahertz which to be fair is not that bad um, it has a 3 megabyte of cache has a bus speed of 8 GTs and uh, it only runs on 51 watts making this actually quite an economical CPU so I think that this is probably a decent kind of one to start off with plus you can get this CPU for the awesome price of £90 now obviously with any CPU you need a fan so the fan that I've gone for is a Be Quiet range called a Pure Rock Slim um, it runs on 2000 RPM, has a really low decibel level of 13.1 to 25.4 which is cracking for a CPU caller and best of all this only costs £21 from Aria or Araya, 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 maybe Araya, 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 I'm, I'm not very good at pronouncing words. So we have our CPU, we have our fan and they're now married together. We've just got to grab our CPU unit and put it onto a motherboard. Now the motherboard that I have chosen is an MSI Gaming Pro Micro ATX LGA1151 motherboard. To be honest, the reason why I've gone for this motherboard is actually this is probably one of the only parts you won't need to replace for a long, long time. MSI have been producing some fantastic pieces of kit recently at a cracking bundle price and uh, here's just a few features of this motherboard. It supports DDR4 RAM which is currently one of the latest versions of RAM currently out there. However, that being said, it only has two slots. It has built-in Realtek 7 to 1 channel high definition audio. It also has six SATA slots on the motherboard. It has six USB 3 slots and it also has a HDMI, a DVI and a VGA port on the back. Now those last three ports you're probably never going to use but you could actually just run this PC without a graphics card however it wouldn't be very good for gaming. The best thing about this mobile board is that it only costs £62, staying well within our budget. The next thing that I would personally look out for is the RAM. I'd rather get the core three components of the PC tied down before even looking at graphics cards. In this instance the stick is made by Crucial, uh, it's the Ballistic Sports LT edition um, which is a DDR4 running at 2400 uh, MHz. So it's a pretty powerful stick, remember that there are two slots on our motherboard, it's going to be quite easy to upgrade this to a 16 gigabyte machine when you're ready. Um, and the best part of this is that this stick costs £90, so to actually invest into another one you probably need to wait one more paycheck. So whether you do that before you get the PC or after you get the PC, that is entirely up to you. But remember I have a budget of £500, so in this instance I'm going to buy my extra stick in a couple of months time. So next up is the one that everybody raves about in a gaming PC. So the graphics card that I've gone for is a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050. This is the, actually the low profile edition so it's a lot shorter, it's a lot thinner and actually it will look really really nice within your machine. So it has an integrated 2GB GDDR5 128-bit memory 
Obviously, like I just mentioned with the low profile design, it's actually only 167 millimeters in length. And the other thing about this graphics card is that it's small but really, really mighty. You can actually hold up to four monitors. Four monitors is insane. Um, however, if you are gonna do this again, you're gonna be asking a lot of that processor. So make sure to do it within, within reasonable limits. So that's our core units done. So we've got our motherboard, we've got our graphics card, we have our RAM and we have our CPU and our caller. But what's gonna power this bad boy? Well, the power unit that we've chosen is a Crosshair CX Series 430 watt. And the best part is that Crosshair is actually a really popular and very reliable brand. So this PSU will actually be able to withstand quite a decent lifetime and quite a lot of stress. Now all that's left of the internal components is a hard drive. So the hard drive we have chosen is a Western Digital Cavia Blue 1TB 3.5 inch 7200 RPN internal hard drive. This hard drive only came in at £36. So it will do the job to get you started. However, I really do expect that you're probably going to have to buy a new one in the next couple of years or so. Not because it's going to fail, but purely because you're going to need more space. Now the last thing in regards to our build is a personal one. Um, it's the case, it's the tower, it's the bag, it's the bubble that you put it in. Okay. Now the case that I have found to go with this kit is the Bit Phoenix Nova MIDI Tower Gaming PC case with a window on the side. It's black, it's sleek, it looks very very neat. Um, it's not going to look like a £500 build. Um, even when you see through the window you're going to see that MSI red motherboard, you're going to see that nice low profile um, graphics card as well as the nice decent chunky sticks of RAM is really going to look the business. So when your friends come around and be like, oh how much do you spend on your PC and you tell them £500, they are going to be shocked because it's, it, it's going to look a lot lot more. The best thing about this case is that it's only £29 as well which fits beautifully into our budget and speaking of budget that brings us up to around about the 498 pounds mark so there you have it you can build a gaming pc for less than 500 pounds now obviously being pretty ninja this will be available on our website in the future, uh, prettyninja.co.uk. If you're not comfortable in building it yourselves, send me a message. I'm more than happy to build it for you um, for a, a reasonable amount. And by reasonable, I'm literally talking maybe 10, 15 quid, um, as long as you buy the parts in and get it shipped and happy to cover the costs, uh, shipping costs as well. Um, I'm more than happy to build it for you. So just ping me a message. If you're not comfortable in building, um, I'm more than happy to do that for you. So I want to give this a name. This is our first ever uh, PC build. What would I build video um, in, in the series? I kind of want to base things around ninjas. So they use wooden training saws called Bokens. Uh, Bokens. So B-O-K-K-E-N. Um, so that's what we're going to call this one. Because it's, it's kind of an entry level PC. Um, it's for being adapted for you to get used to your PC gaming surroundings before upgrading on to your next weapon. So we're going to call this the PN Bokken. That has a really nice ring to it actually. PN Bokken. I want a PN Bokken. Probably better than my piece of crap that I got in a moment. So there you have it. What would I build £500? A PN Bokken. Thank you very much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Leave a comment. And uh, see you next time. See you later.